Hello, my name is North, and I am bringing you another From New to Professional episode. I am on TDM, and I'm on the map Carbon. Um, I don't really have anything specific I want to talk about this episode, so it's kind of me just doing a bit of freestyling. Kind of. So I'm using a P90 with Red Dot Sight, I think. Yeah, Red Dot Sight. But I might change it back to... To, uh the iron sights. Um, I can't remember this gameplay that well. So I'm just going to talk you through it basically. Um, basically there's two ways where the opposition goes. Either through this way where I'm looking now or through the middle or through the so, through the other, other side of the map. Near where kind of people camp, that little, like kind of alleyway kind of. So I'm just, just kind of like trying to go around them in here. I'll pick up somebody here. I think somebody there. <coughs> Excuse me. Get the two kills there. Managed to drop shot him kind of. Even though it was kind of a bit delayed. I won't really class it as drop shotting. Shame we couldn't get the third guy. Maybe should have. Maybe should have done a. Maybe I should have just done a bit of hip fire there. I was trying to think of the word for it. Excuse me, it's early in the morning. Got a day off at last. Well, I had a day off yesterday. It's just this week seems to been on for ages. Because I went to a uh, Bletchley Park on Tuesday. Normally I just have two hours on that day, but I had like from nine till about half five. It was crap. The majority of it was crap, that trip. Um, it wasn't for the programming and it was getting to play on some old computer games. <coughs> and it would have been crap. It would have been a waste of 20 quid. I, w I would still class it as a waste of 20 pound, actually. Um, we, we got to see, like, some... And the old computers, the, uh, the code breakers used to actually break the German codes. But you should have seen my RT teachers, they're like taking pictures of it and everything, they're proper into it. Because um, we've got a Chinese woman as a as a tutor, but she's actually, she's actually retired now. But she actually went, I like, got totally owned there. I didn't know there was a second guy there. If I did, then I would have... I, I should have really hung back there. Anyway, so yeah, Chinese woman... Yeah, she, she actually arranged it, and she she told her that it was in London, and it wasn't. It was in Milton Keynes. And that was one of the main reasons why, like, I kind of went. I wanted to go through London, just to see what it, what it's like. I've never actually been to London. I, I'm definitely going to go there in the future. I totally missed that guy, and I just actually saw him just crouch down now. Um, I didn't obviously see that in game. Obviously, I would have got him. A smart move by that guy, actually. So I went to track down this guy. I think he's actually moved on now. Yeah. Anyway, I keep moving off topic from what I was talking about. Um, the Chinese woman. Yeah, she practically forced. She, she she was proper keen. Seriously, if we hung back, she was like, "Come on, move, move, move." Come on, I want to see this, I want to see that. And t look at this guy, he totally didn't know I was there, even though I ran kind of into him. That's something that I, I would normally do, actually. But I'm starting to get a little bit better at this game and get another Bouncing Betty kill. I can't wait to look, unlock Claymores. Bouncing Betty with Claymores, that's going to be pretty fun. In there, it might be quite annoying for the other, other players. It's not. I don't think Bouncing Betty and Claymores are as overpowered as proxies are in GoldenEye. So, so yeah, um, so Modern Warfare 3 we news, or Modern Warfare 3 news. Apparently the FMG9s are going to get patched, they're going to get buffed a bit. Um, the damage of them should be lowered. I don't think the fire rate should be, should be, actually the fire rate should be lowered a bit, so should the damage. But the thing is, now that these are going to get patched, the next gun that everybody will learn about is the MP9s, and then that will get patched. It's just going to be an endless cycle. No, one, no one's happy, kind of. I, I must admit, the FMG9s are overpowered. 
But the thing is, everybody will just want to find another overpowered gun and use that. Look at this, look, I shot the bouncing bat in and killed him. That was epic, that was. That was a bit of a professional moment there, if I say so myself. But that's what the whole series is about. You get to see me actually progress through the game and actually do quite well. It's a shame that I don't didn't get the uh, second guy there. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, everybody will just be complaining about another gun. The thing is, um, everybody's using the P90, what I'm using now, the PP90 with rapid fire. Now, I am using rapid fire with the P90, I think. But I'm not, the most overpowered combination you can do is rapid fire with suppressor. Because that is overpowered, did quite well there. I must doing quite well in this gameplay apart from there, because the guy tried to stand, which is what I should have done. I did it there, but it was a bit too late. Oh yeah, caught in the stealth bomber, get no kills from it. So I thought there'll be someone there. Maybe should have done it a bit further down. I, I, <coughs> you see me doing that in a couple of gameplays, actually, in another gameplay actually. Um, I still got about three more of these record, three more recorded. So after that, I'm gonna be. Uh, I might go on it today actually and get some more episodes for you, and then I might start doing a bit of live commentaries for you. I might actually do that today. Um, I'll do some live commentaries on different game modes. But I might do crapping them. Because it'll be the first time that I'll actually play some of them. So I've not played Search and Destroy yet. Or Headquarters. Or Capture the Flag. Or Demolition. So or I've actually played Team Defender a couple of times. Not as many as I, as I want to. So <coughs> over the next few days... I will be actually recording some variety for you guys, variety game modes anyway. And then after that, I will be starting the variety gun show, where I uh, go for every single gun I've unlocked, get a gameplay for you guys, keep doing gameplays on that gun until I've actually unlocked it gold, and do a gameplay for you with it gold, and then move on to the next gun. And that will be for every single gun. But it won't be... The same as the From New to Professional series. The From New to Professional series will still be going on. Sorry for talking really quick there. Um, yeah, that series will still be going on along with this one. And then after when I've done this one, which probably won't be for a while yet, actually. Um, and I'll start my Let's Plays. I've still got a Let's Play of Gravitation to finish off. I've only really recorded seven episodes yet. And I've only uploaded two of them. And I've still got the Farewell to God and our Wii series. So I won't be starting another Let's Play until after when I've actually finished uploading the uh, Farewell to God and Oasis series. I can't believe I've got an assist there. Should have really got that kill. But every, this, is, this seems to be the main choke point of the map. It, that little alleyway there and here, it seems to be the main choke point. So my tip for you would probably just to hang back from there. But be careful of the opposition from spawning behind you. Because that always happens to me. Which is annoying. It seems to be like a revenge spawn system. Like when you kill someone, they spawn right behind you. Which is not really fair on you. Because you don't you don't you don't you don't have a clue that they're there. And I can't believe that guy actually got me. Oh yeah, I actually killed him. That was actually pretty epic after life. I think I killed him with the exploding barrel or the bouncing Betty, I don't know. So that was actually pretty cool. Bit of payback. Look, everybody, everybody in my team's there. I'm, I'm just putting a bounce Betty there, just in case the opposition spawned behind me. And I got, yeah, and it worked. So as soon as you lock bounce and betters, I would, I would advise you to actually use them because they're actually pretty useful. I wish you could use two of them though, that would be useful. I don't know what I was doing here. I was kind of like hiding with that guy. I should have just let that guy kill the other guy, but that, that guy who was camping actually got a kill. And his bouncing and better. Or claymore, whatever it was. I'm not actually unlocked claymores yet. I don't know what level you unlock them. I'm going to have to have a look at that. But I'm actually level 43 or 4 now. And I am actually going to prestige. And then after I prestige, that's going to be the end of, of my From New to Professional series. I'm going to take the fair at aim in there. Take the fair at doing that and I get killed. 
So yeah, I am getting marginally better at this game. I think it will get better as soon as Christmas comes along because you always get new players coming along. So I'll definitely get some gameplays for you guys. Fail up, picking up the bounce bit there, put it there. Uh, for, some, for some reason, uh, I was looking not to get killed there, so that's the end of the gameplay. So I'm not going to finish what I was going to say, because I want to actually not overrun the gameplay this time. So I went... Was it 18, 18 and 14? Which is not bad. Not brilliant. Or not a few deaths, but... Beggars can't be choosers. I'm getting better, but I'm getting better at this game gradually. So I unlocked the stinger. Got new challenges. This is quite old. I was level 40 on this game. So now that's going to be the end of another episode. I think this is episode 8 in this series. Hope you enjoyed this series so far. And hopefully you join me again for some more Modern Warfare 3 Wii gameplay and commentaries. And live commentaries. See you next time. Goodbye.